electric current. Anything that relies on electricity won't work when something like a storm stops the electric current. What you may not know is that electric current is a flow of electrons. Yep, electrons. Those teeny tiny particles that orbit around an atom's nucleus. Here's how it works. Electrons jump from atom to atom. Then, with a material like copper wire acting as a conductor, these charge carriers go with the flow, creating an electric current. It's like a conga line of electrons. The electricity that flows through the wires in your home is an alternating current. That means it can reverse direction. A current from a battery goes in only one direction. That's called direct current. Whether it's AC or DC, the electric current is measured in amps. And the voltage is the pressure put behind the amps to make it higher or lower. Amazing what a little peer pressure among electrons can do when they flow in a current.